New at 11, bad drivers exposed. Most of us think it's the other guy's fault, but we found out those who claim to be the best drivers, they're actually the worst. To prove it, we rode along with a local police officer who identified one traffic violation after another. CBS 46's Adam Murphy takes us along for the ride. It's another one you'll see only on CBS 46. Oh my God. It's, it's horrible here. Terrible. All walks of life. Slow. Stop driving so damn fast. Don't get out of the way. Slow down. From all over the world. They're crazy. Someone almost hit me like a second ago. Stepped up to an open mic in Atlanta. I don't know if this is the right word, but maybe maybe a little chaotic. To complain maybe about the chaotic. same Dude, thing. I feel safe driving everywhere because I got faith. They keep me exercising because they almost hit me. Like it's either go off the road or you're going to like slow down for them to get in. Let's face it. People hate Atlanta traffic with a passion. And almost every time it's the other guy's fault, right? Man, we've been seeing people all over the place, and that's just their natural driving habit. That's the, that's the sad thing. Corporal Wilbert Rundles knows a thing or two about driving in this town. He has spent most of his 16-year career working traffic. See that car right there just dove over three lanes uh, to do that. No one uses a, uh, blinkers. No one on the freeway, you know. Everyone just, oh, you know what, I'm going to go to the right. I'm just going to swerve in there real quick. Just because your blinker is on doesn't mean that it's safe to make that lane change. It's not a rite of passage, it's a request. He identified one traffic violation after another. And they pulled off onto the shoulder to pass traffic. Which most of us are guilty of. And what does that sign say? Whether we admit it or not. The sign says keep moving. So, uh, Rundles reminds us that driving is a privilege and not a right. But too often we're impatient second. and aggressive Reaction behind the see wheel. That truck getting up on that guy? Like that, what that, what it's trying to do is they're trying to force them over out of the way. To make matters worse, many of us are guilty of distracted driving. The hands-free law is good, but nobody really follows it from what I've seen. It doesn't matter how long you've been driving if you've been a bad driver that whole time. And perhaps the number one thing we do to make our roads less safe is drive too fast. But at 70 miles an hour, you're traveling 103 feet per second. A lot can happen in a short amount of time. If you take your eyes off the road for just three seconds going 70 miles per hour, you will have traveled the length of a football field, 100 yards. And if you're not paying attention, that can mean the difference between life and death. Last year, there were more than 460,000 traffic accidents statewide, killing more than 1,400 people. Well, one of the biggest things we need to worry about is being overconfident. Don't be so sure of yourself. So just when you thought you were one of those good drivers, crazy, <laughs> crazy drivers, you may want to think again. When I'm on your tail, that means get over. Adam Murphy. Don't sit there. CBS 46 News.